As government investment in active travel is growing, many highway authorities are trying to ensure that their investment in the road network is going to deliver the best results for local communities. Sometimes amassing the data to inform these investment decisions can be time consuming or even require expensive primary data collection. On the shortlist for product of the year at last autumn's Highways Awards, the Active Streets assessment tool provides the shortcut that you need. Costing less than £5,000 and with a data warehouse containing well over 200 million data points, ASAC can give you the confidence to plan, deliver and evaluate active travel investment across your network. And ASAT just got even better. New this month, we have integrated air quality data into our market leading platform, allowing you to see how active and sustainable mobility fits with your ambitions for safe and healthy communities. Order now and setup is typically complete the same working day, getting you access to the best available active travel data in a matter of hours. When you log in, you will immediately zoom to the boundaries of your selected local area. In this case, Westminster, so this will look familiar to many of you. And you can switch mapping between layers to get a good sense of the area that you're looking at. On the left hand side, we have geographic filters. So you can zoom down to smaller areas of geography, such as a medium level super output area, or for larger geographies that cross multiple parliamentary constituency boundaries, then you can select constituency. There are also a range of common filters so that you can look at your network segmented by road class or form of way. You can select a specific road number or you can look for those roads with a particular prevailing speed limit. Now let's use some of the preset filters to look for locations. These filters work very quickly to analyse the entire road network and find areas that could be addressed for active travel. On urban roads with higher speeds and flows, LTN 120 makes clear that protected space will be required. This set of filters, when applied, will show you the roads where higher levels of engineering may be needed to protect cyclists. If I select cycle lanes, the filter, when applied, will remove parts of the network where speed limit or traffic flow is too high and where the road is too narrow to accommodate only light segregation. Active zones, will show you the parts of the network with low speed and flow and a low rate of collisions involving cyclists. These filters make it easier for you to find parts of the network that are already amenable to LTN 120 compliance schemes. But there are other filters too. If you want to scan your network looking for sites to improve, you can easily select roads according to width, gradient, traffic flow, congestion and safety data. So far, we've mostly shown you the map with roads highlighted according to their average annual daily flow. This has been modelled based on 14 billion vehicle tracks to provide high quality flow data that is comparable to conducting traffic surveys, especially on higher flow roads. But there are 32 different ways to visualise your road data, such as by speed limit, vehicle speeds, congestion index, or safety performance for pedestrians and cyclists. And there are data layers to help you visualise the makeup of your community too. So we can switch to look at the density of population. We can look at commuting choices, perceptions of safety, or indeed bicycle ownership. And this is where we've added in some additional value by pulling in air quality data from DEFRA with additional layers representing key pollutants. So you can now consider your active travel locations not only for safety and sustainability, but also how they might contribute to or be impacted by poor air quality. For example, this map shows the congestion index with darker roads experiencing higher levels of congestion laid on top of nitrous oxide or PM 2.5 data, which will be influenced by motorised traffic, or PM 10, which will likely include construction related pollutants.